Hello everyone, I'm Ma'am Efra Ismay I. Maravilla, your Mathematics 10 teacher for Quarter 1, Week 8A, Polynomial Equations. For our objectives, we have illustrate polynomial equations and determine the degree leading coefficient and constant term of the polynomial. So, ano nga ba ang polynomial equation? A polynomial equation is an equation that have multiple terms made up of numbers and variables. The question now is that, how are we going to know if the given is a polynomial equation or not. So let us try this one. 3x raised to 1 half plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So polynomials cannot contain variable exponents. They also cannot contain an integer exponent. So this is not a polynomial equation. How about this one? 8x cubed minus 2 over x plus 6 equals 0. Let us remember that polynomials cannot contain variables in a denominator. So, this is not a polynomial equation. Let us analyze this example. 3x cubed plus 4x raised to negative 2 plus 3 equals 0. There is a rule that polynomials cannot have negative exponents on variables. So, the answer is not a polynomial equation. For our last example, we have 2x squared plus square root of x equals 0. So always remember that polynomial equation must have no variables inside the radical sign. So this is not a polynomial equation. Our task now is to tell whether the given equation is a polynomial equation or not. Let's start. First, we have 6x raised to negative 2 plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Is not a polynomial equation because a term has a negative exponent. So we have 
2a cubed b squared minus 3b squared plus 2a minus 1 equals 0. This is a polynomial equation since all the variables have integer exponents that are positive. Another one, 6x squared plus 3x over 3x equals 0. It is a polynomial equation because it's possible to simplify this to 3x plus 1 equals 0, which also satisfies the requirements of a polynomial equation. Two x raised to two y plus eight x minus one equals zero. It's not a polynomial equation because a term has a variable on the exponent. Last is. 5x cubed plus square root of 2x plus 7x squared minus 4 equals 0. So this is not a polynomial equation because a term has a variable inside the radical sign. In this lesson, we also need to determine the degree, leading coefficient, leading term, and the constant term. Given the equation negative 7x squared minus 22x plus 6x cubed minus 5 equals 0. Let us first arrange the equation from highest exponent to the lowest exponent, which make it in standard form. Then, let us identify the highest power of x, which is the degree of the given equation. So, we get 3 as the degree in the given equation. Using the same equation, let us now identify the constant term. So what is a constant term? It is the term in the equation without any variable. So in this equation, we get negative 5 as the constant term. And to identify the term containing the highest power of x, which is the leading term of the given equation, we get 6x cubed as the leading term.
using the same equation, 6x cubed minus 7x squared minus 22x minus 5 equals 0. So 6 is the leading coefficient of the polynomial, which is the coefficient of the leading term. To sum up, the degree of polynomial is 3. The leading coefficient is 6. The leading term is 6x cubed and the constant term is negative 5. In example number 2, we have negative 15x squared minus 10 plus 12x plus 18x cubed equals 0. Let us arrange first the equation from highest exponent to the lowest exponent to make it in standard form. So we get 18x cubed minus 15x squared plus 12x minus 10 equals 0. Now, the degree of polynomial is 3. The leading coefficient is 18. The leading term is 18x cubed and the constant term is negative 10. In example number 3, 5a squared b squared minus 15ab minus 30 equals 0. The degree of polynomial is 4. The leading coefficient is 5. The leading term is 5a squared b squared and the constant term is negative 30. In conclusion, let us not forget the following facts about polynomial equation. Polynomials cannot contain variable exponents, non-integer exponents, variables in a denominator, negative exponent on variables, and variables inside the radical sign. Also, Please take note that the highest power of x is the degree and polynomial with the coefficient of the leading term is the leading coefficient and the term containing the highest power of x is the leading term. And also, constant term is the term in the equation without any variable. That's all for today class. Thank you and God bless us all.